Axblet. Axblet, stop resetting my microphone settings. So I stopped recording silent clips. Hello! Welcome to another episode of Builder's Dreams here on the Iskal85 Patreon server with E. Schrodinger's cat, who's now got audio rooted through the right device, unlike the last three clips I recorded. Anyway, I've done some work in between now and the last episode. I filled, I finished this waterfall here that I was doing. I think, I, I don't think I had the foam there on, on there yet. That's, uh, it's glass and cloud, cloud blocks from Chisel. And I think that has a lot. You, you could see it. You could see it. It's like a rushing waterfall. It defines the shape, whereas before it was a big blue blob. This is my favorite part up here, where it's kind of curving as it, as it, you know, the momentum of it going straight is sending it to curve against this hill, and then it falls down straight here. A shape I really like. I started to detail... I Well, not started. I more or less completed detailing out the mud, adding some... I guess what would be more watery streaks through it. Uh, it looks a bit, a little bit like poo, but don't, don't try to focus on that. Uh, try to focus on it being mud. Uh, mud. It is mud, dirt with water mixed into it. Correct. Did it over here too. I split it in down into a smaller scale. It was just full blocks. Now it's the the edge here is down to the eighth block scale. The Definitely water and not poop streaks are sixteenth block, but I think that's okay. I didn't I, I didn't want to deal with um, doing the edges down so far because it would require me to come over here. Not a, no no. I <laughs> have so many pools of water. It would require me to do it all the way through here as well, and that's just blah. Uh, too much effort. Can't be bothered. Anyway. The last, de the last couple details over here is I took the terrain down to a half block scale, started to add a little more shape, and I don't think I'm going to go any smaller on that scale because it's, there's so much to do, it would take so long, and I think it, there would be too many surfaces, it would be too busy. And the last thing I did over here was these reeds, I like these a lot, I like this, this um, color, it's very nice soothing green and um, the moss too i like that a lot it, it helps to uh, but before it was here you it was sort of like well there was reeds 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 grass uh, and the moss helps be a, a transition between the reeds and the uh poop mud so today i think i'm going to work over here and try to get a little village worked out. I don't entirely know how many buildings I'm going to be able to fit in here because I want a road to go here. Probably going to go up the mountain like that, excuse me. Um, so I'll probably have a building here, a building here, a road here, and maybe something along this side. I'll probably knock out some of this hill. But anyway, this is a facade that I had started. I am... I have mixed feelings about it. I really like this inside design here. That's this asymmetrical swirly design. It's asymmetrical because, and don't tell anyone this, this over here is one, two, three, four. This over here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. But I think that disguises it. Let me know if it's effective, but I think that works out. This needs more detail. It's very, just very not broken up enough, but when I added details such as these, it kind of looked too sci-fi, uh, not necessarily the worst thing, but not really the style I'm going for. So right, n so the next thing that we need to do is add a uh, walls going back this way and add more of a roof to this thing, so I'm going to do some planning and get back to you. Did I say anyway enough times in that last clip? Whoo boy. Well, I think I've improved my talking a little bit in the realm of not so many ums, but boy is it weird to record yourself and hear yourself speaking and the, and the phrases and the idioms that you use. 
it's it's such a bizarre experience that ah oh man and, and it's super hard to monitor the way that your speech sounds while you are on camera because you're thinking about what you're doing in the game and you're thinking about you know what what are you going to say next you, you can't stop talking you can never stop talking there can't be silence at, at least in my opinion when i watch other people's videos and decide what i like to do what i like from those videos i feel that when there's silence, it gets boring. So I, you know, there's this constant pressure to be continuing talking, and I'm not particularly good at that, at non-stop talking. Hi, Vo. So, <laughs> if you'll probably notice that sometimes I don't finish sentences, I s repeat words, I say words that are wrong, and that's primarily because I'm just trying to make my brain push out words no matter whether or not they make sense. And I like to keep them on a generally Minecraft related topic, but it can be difficult. Like I, I, I found in, in, in the couple episodes of Foolcraft that I recorded and then subsequently lost to Premiere being a little shit. Uh, that if I try and concentrate my what I say on only what's happening in the game, it gets so hard because you, you get like, okay, now I place a block here, and the next thing we're gonna do is place a block next to it, and then after that, we're gonna come over here and do the same thing all over again <laughs> it just it stops being I'll, 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 do, I'll fill that out later for the sake of interest it just it stops being a piece of content and starts being somebody mumbling vaguely into a microphone so again you know it, there's there's gonna be a process of me figuring out this nope okay it's gonna be a process of me figuring out how to not sound like a total total dumbass on camera uh let me know what is annoying and what is not annoying because i i can tell from feedback i mean not feedback well, okay let's start that over speaking of uh sentences that stop and start and go all over the place I can sort of judge based on watching videos, you know, monkey see, monkey do, but that's not all, all of what you really need to be good at something. You know, there's, y you need feedback to get better at stuff, and that is, n oh, oh, right, two over. Anyway, you, you, you really do need feedback from the people around you, and I and I mean honest feedback, to become better at something, and that's in general why I encourage constructive criticism. So long as it's not just you suck. Like <laughs> I want to know if you think I suck. I want to know why you think I suck in a way that will be productive and help me not suck so much. Man, I am not having an easy time with this, uh, this style it is so different from the styles that I used to, re used to building. I've done a lot of, uh, medieval stuff, a lot of gothic stuff, Victorian, colonial, Roman, all, all the kind of stuff that Minecraft is really suited for. And with this build, I'm trying to go for something different, not modern specifically like realistic modern because I'm not I, I like modern buildings when I see them especially in Minecraft when they're done really well but I'm not a super I don't find it that fun to build them I, I, they find they're a little too I, flat for me to be able to figure out how to make them look good 
because my gut instinct is just to add more detail and that doesn't really work for modern buildings so I'm but I but I do want to uh, do something different than just the same old castle I've done 5,000 times and I'm tr hoping to do that with this style in a way that's a, a little bit you know it's it's not medieval it's it's not real world architecture it's not i i just i want it to be quirky i want it to be cartoony i want it to i don't know <laughs> it's 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 going to develop as it goes on i've i've sort of established some characteristics of it here this is very um i don't know what era this would be it's kind of Victorian, I think, and I've also yeah, this is this is pretty Victorian, but I, but I'm starting to to break away, and I I have this sort of rustic path over there. I have the natural uh, terraforming, but uh, with these buildings, I'm going to try and define a more unique style than typically I would use. Uh, this roof looks super terrible. Um, I try I'm trying to I tried adding that strap it does help. Um, whoop. Don't mind if I blow into my microphone a little bit. Anyway, um, let's see if I bring, nope, that's the wrong material. Let's see if I bring this material down like so. Um, I think it's, it's very difficult to try and do something that you've never done before, especially in a YouTube format, because you're expected to do something and deliver a product that is good, and when you're trying something new, you're taking a lot of chances. But at the same time, with YouTube, you do have a kind of accountability to the people you're watching, because if you promise something, then y you have to go through it. You can't one, two, three, four, five, then bam. Okay. It, then you have to go through with it. And so it's, it's, it's like, I know I've been talking a lot about how strange it is to do YouTube, but that's just something that has been in my mind all the time because it is something brand new to me. Even though I've been watching YouTube for years and years and years, it's, it's, it's given me a whole different perspective to actually do it. So, adding those straps helps. It does. It does help. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four. Um, because the roof otherwise was very, very flat. And I'm going to shrink this down to the, to the eighth bit scale that's here, but... It, it definitely looks, it, the straps make it look more, I don't know. But I think, I th it, it, it is definitely relying on an old fallback that I use all the time is to, if there's a bland roof, you add straps. That's just what you do. But... You know, at, at a certain point, I'm just I just got to do something. I I can't just sit around being like, well, what haven't I done? Because if I abandon every rule of Minecraft that I've ever learned, then it's not going to end well either. So I'm going to try and do similar things to this roof. I, I'm going to bring these these um, straps down all on the other side. Another thing that needs working out is this space here. And I think I'm going to do something similar to what I did here, where I start defining a curve. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and two. Let's try that. And I start defining a, a little bit of a detail, and this is this is very um, this kind of detail can be very gothic, and and it's you know it shows up a lot in you know gothic and Victorian architecture, but I think we can add those elements in without too much copycatting. Uh, I think I'm going to make this double thick because of the scale of the roof. I don't want it to be look like like this, like everything everything's too wide, but then you have this 
little spindly little skinny skinny thing over here so I'm going to make it thick thicker big and big and thicker uh, and I'm going to let's see if I can just fill this out the whole way which is taken for goddamn ever uh, with chiseling bits as it always does and going for the home run there uh, I've made better let's see if I can come and thicken in this inside bit a little bit um, to try and so so there's not such a, a sudden jump from here to here yeah that's that's starting to look good and I, I, I might even add some more of these swirly designs into it uh, if it fits Look at these water shaders I found. I got the, I don't know what they're called or who made them. I got them from Jimothy on the build team. But they're so nice. It's so nice and subtle. Uh, sometimes shaders could be overwhelming, but look at that ripple. Unfortunately, <laughs> they don't work with chisel and bits. So that's sad. Oh well, <laughs> anyway, oh, there goes anyway again. I finished up this building, sort of. I got this filled in, these details here filled in. I got this roof design figured out. It looks, I had it was quite the effort to make it not look like a basketball court, so hopefully I achieved that. Added similar details down here, a few more little straps. Uh, I didn't end up adding knees because with the full building in effect, it kind of looks a little bit tacky. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Tacky is still a valid style of building and it's not entirely out of the style that I'm going for. But I don't think it'll look uh, as good over here. I know these walls are kind of bland, but I might put some foliage or stuff in there uh, at some point or some other environmental kind of organic detail. Um, added this over here on the one side because this you know, is taller on this side than it is on the other side. I think uh, it, the building currently has no windows, so that's a bit of a problem, but I mean, it's sort of, I don't know. I'm not entirely happy with it, but I am a little bit happy with it in that I'm starting to get the style that I'm going for. And I think future buildings will refine that style more. Uh, I was hoping to get more buildings done today, but this one took so long that I, I think I'm just going to wrap this episode up here. Done a lot of rambling, so <laughs> have a lot of video footage of me just talking, waxing philosophical-like. So that is going to do it for today. This has been E. Schrodinger's Cat, and that's uh, I Say Good Day to You, Internet.